Oh, we found a flow. I've seen this on uh, one other game so far. It was uh, Mega Man 42, if I recall correctly. You can spawn an uh, infinite amount of uh, enemies on the screen. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 28 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge and countless Napster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited and Mega Man Rock and Roll, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome to Nico Evaluates Mechanic Man. Nope, not mechanical. Mechanic Man. I guess he fixes automobiles. There's this ugly border in the game. I don't know what that's about. That is hideous, you can't even change it. Look at all the colors that we were given. Ugh. You can't resize this window. You can make it full screen, but that'll just make it wide. It looks uh, dumb as hell. So this is the window size we're gonna have to play with. Really uh, not a good job. Should always provide uh, window sizes. The last update was 2014, so... Definitely this required some uh, more care and love. Mechanic Man is uh, your typical Mega Man fan game, but there's not much information uh, on this game online. What you also have to know is if you play this with the controller, shut down your controller first, then open the game, and then set up your Joy to Key, because otherwise this game has built-in uh, controller support and the buttons are garbage. So that's one way to make that work. There we go. So there's not much information about this game online. Not a, not many people played this even, because it's uh, some fellow from China, I believe, who made the game. So the stories and whatnot, they're all uh, on his website, all in Chinese. So I don't know why he didn't include any kind of intro in the game. That would have been cool. That is my nitpick for the moment. Let's see what this game is about. I have to press fire. <laughs> Didn't know that. I'm gonna show you something else here. He even recreated the NES uh, screen. See how the uh, left side is just black? Well, that's typical on the NES. So he's going all in with the authenticity. I'm not sure if the colors are also bound to NES, but I don't think they are. This looks too colorful. I'm not a huge fan of uh, that design choice anyway. This looks cool. The fellow with no eyes. The fellow with cat cat eye makeup. The slightly handicapped bubble man fellow. The trash can man. Metal fire man. And the unicorn fellow. See you, Elec. See you, metal. So they're all CUs, whatever that means. It's probably robot in Ch it's probably a robot in Chinese. <laughs> I'm just guessing. So it's gonna look a bit blurry because uh, I'm playing this through OBS, I can't even look at the small window because I can barely see it. That's why you always uh, should have window sizes and uh, other resolutions. So, uh, kind of shame there's none. But uh, let's just jump right in, this is a good old uh, evaluation here. Only six levels, so we'll see uh, what kind of uh, shenanigans go on in the end game. Let's start with uh, Elec, I'm not sure why uh, he felt the need to make another Elec man. There's already an Illic man. But this is CU Illic. Totally different. Wow. It's a bit <laughs> a bit ugly, not gonna lie. The art isn't always everything. I'm, okay, the art is total crap. Listen to music. Holy shit. That's good music. Reminds me of a Nintendo World Cup. The style is kind of similar. Makes me wanna jam. Wow. Impressive music. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> which one is selected? Uh oh. Can you be any more vague? Hmm. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. The sprite work is ugly. We can. We can see that, the sprite work is hideous. But let's not let that bother us, maybe the game is good. You can shoot three times on the ground. <laughs> three times in the air. That's all fine. No slide. 
And jump height is pretty high, but you can control it with uh, subtle taps. So, that seems to be your lowest jump there. So, incredibly high jump though, and you're firing off what seems to be uh, wrenches. See, mechanic man. I'm gonna probably call it mechanical for a lot. So, the art is pretty ugly, but let's see what, uh, what the gameplay is like. Sometimes uh, sometimes the art can be ugly and uh, the game is actually good. And it's good that your head is bobbing up and down and not left and right. That makes it look more professional. So this fellow here comes down and uh, shoots at us. Uh, there's, no really, there's really no telegraph when he does so. He just fires out three shots. He doesn't look like he would fire three shots, but he does. So small improvements could be made on this enemy. Controls are good. Not the bit though, so that's something you have to keep in mind. You can indeed like advance a few pixels at a time, but I would prefer the, a real tippy toe. So these enemies not really a problem yet. Look at this one. Holy hell. That's uh, the attack from Kirby. Straight up. I forget what it's called. Oh, we found a flow. I've seen this on uh, one other game so far. It was uh, Mega Man 42, if I recall correctly. You can spawn an uh, infinite amount of uh, enemies on the screen too easily, so the uh, boundary check on the edge of the screen is uh, too lenient. It allows to uh, scroll enemies back too easily, because the boundary is pretty much uh, set to like one pixel vertically for the spawn point. So as long as you keep sc scrolling that point back, more enemies will spawn. That needed more testing there. What did we even pick up? Like weapon energy, I guess. So I hope that we're not gonna do that too much. Instead of one up, probably. So, so far, uh, music, yeah. <laughs> Definitely the best part about this. Is there something to, uh, up here? Probably get the one up from here. Yep. Nice. That's a. Uh, a fine job for a one up crab, I feel like. Listen to the music, my god. Let's just enjoy that for a moment. Damn. This is one of the best music I've heard in a fan game yet. Holy shit. So here's your teaching on it. On uh, electric, electrified ladders. Reminds me of uh, Mario 2, this section here. Interesting. I like the... Uh, <laughs> I like the mechanic. Get it? Get it, guys? Could I add some enemies there as well to the mix? What is that? It's pro that's probably hilt. Fuck. They're all explained in the manual, but I can't read it, so... <laughs> not gonna do me much. Yeah, that's uh, energy. Gotta be a bit careful up there, because uh, you're not gonna know when the electricity is gonna come up here. It even comes up to this spot here, which could be hard to read. So be careful with those mechanics. Oh, that bothers me. I can barely make the jump. See, that's a, a nice shield type enemy. Your Cho for the game. See, the game looks kind of like garbage. But the ideas and the execution so far is great. And the music's just godly. Okay, that hurts us. So not every horrible looking game is bad necessarily. So this is clearly an homage to the Man stage here. Interesting. I wonder if all of the Robot Masters are kind of trying to re remake the first Mega Man game. Because if that's so, uh, it will be intriguing to see. This is clearly a uh, Man stage. Just done way better. I mean, this is already better than the original stage. It's not a big ask though. Come on. So when you shoot the shield, he's not gonna open up. Typical Mega Man one show behavior, as well. There we go. This looks like it's in the foreground, but I can walk through it. Holy hell! Interesting. That's a fun enemy type there as well. Have to watch your footing. Very nice. <laughs> Look at that, a small car. It's a spine. Works the same way. 
Very interesting. It makes you want to dodge it so long as you uh, get close enough to it and then you can kill it. I like that mechanic because uh, that's gonna bother me saying that every time. I like this mechanic. So it forces you to deal with the enemy and learn it and then once you've learned the enemy it gives you the free range to kill it. That's very good design. Oh, this is a tight section here. Luckily it doesn't touch the ladder, so good. Look at that. Well done, El. Holy hell! Your blader mock-ups. They come from the uh, walls. I like them. Whoa! I was trying to lure them out, but no luck. I want that. Cool. This is uh, really nice here. I guess the backgrounds and the foregrounds could be more animated. It, it's kind of pale. Whoa, look at those dodges. The game looks kind of pale. It kind of looks too simple, if you know what I mean. So maybe a bit more uh, animation on the various uh, things around the level would make it uh, look uh, more clean and fun. So enemies also drop E-Tanks. I'm not sure if I like that. Let's see what Elec Man does. Or see you, Elec. Okay, he jumps when he fires. Uh oh. We well, yikes! How did I dodge the. Hey. Man. Not a big fan of the boss music, but hey. It's alright. It's just a bit too mellow. Seems like a. a difficult to master. Robot master. Fuck! There we go, use that. As we're trying to learn this. I like the, like the attacks, now he's faster. Maybe a bit too simple, I mean... It's not horrible or anything, it's just kinda... Kind of a letdown, but... It's still done in a... It's still done well, like in a way where it's not unfair or anything. It has a pattern, <laughs> which is... Which is still more than your usual Mega Man fan games that just have random boss AI behavior. At least there's a pattern here and a, a likable one here. Uh, it can become a bit messy here uh, at the end when he gets faster. <laughs> but uh, that's not a bad job actually. Uh, it had an actual pattern. Analyzing. Electric if user. Electric if user. Excuse me. Oh my god, there's passwords in the game. Can't save it. Elec would kill. Probably liquid, if I have to guess. So let's go try that. Yeah, the art is straight up trash. It's not. It's not your strong suit, but I can appreciate the fact that you tried and didn't use existing sprites. So those don't actually shove you down, which is a bit of a let down here. I was hoping that the uh, waterfalls would uh, shunt you down. Let's see. Man, this is vague. This menu. So the thing that is more on the left side is the chosen thing. Why can't you just <laughs> make it more... Make it better! Oh, hell. Look at that. Mmm! Yeah, it's... Uh-oh! Help! <laughs> nice sound when you die. The sounds and music are really in this game are magnificent. And the energy don't doesn't come back, which is good. What does this fellow do? Is that like a mitt? Yeah, that's like a mitt, basically. Your art is one of the worst we've seen on the show, but... Hey, I can appreciate that you're trying at least, and the game itself... That section was fine. Maybe a bit too easy to scum, but that's the first section of the stage. So your ideas, your teaching elements, your execution is great. Uh oh. But uh, I would hope that you let someone else do the graphics, I guess. What am I supposed to do in this section? Oh, there we go. I didn't see that. Nice teaching of it. Now, what happens if I go back down? Get hit by the water for some reason. <laughs> but you can actually deactivate that as well. Look at that. I'm gonna play with this for five hours. Oh, that's fun. There we go. 
Maybe you could like turn that into like poison or something. Doesn't make sense that water is uh, hurting us. I guess it's the pressure. But I would pressure wash a robot. Okay, there we go. Can't go back, which is nice. There we go. Oh, interesting. Now you're testing us. <laughs> Would have probably added an enemy to the screen as well. Kill the mitts. Let that fellow drop down. Would be nice if he uh, got killed on spikes. Spike drop? Done well. You have enough time to see what's going on. But the uh, horizontal uh, movement is not enough apparently. Because uh, our walk speed is so slow in this game. It's probably would benefit for, from uh, being a bit faster, actually. Hard to tell if this is... my bad. Hard to tell if this is Mega Man's normal walking speed. But the walk speed has to uh, work for your game. So you can't just willy-nilly copy everything from Mega Man and then expect it to work if your game is a bit different. So in the uh, spike... so there's no telegraph on this drop down as well, that's another thing I noticed. No telegraph on the pipes. So, in the spike trap section, well, we are so slow that if you make one small mistake, you don't have enough uh, speed to fix it, essentially. That's a bit of a uh, letdown there. At first, the spike section looked uh, fine, but you kind of have to be faster. <laughs> a bit of lag. That's interesting. So, now that we know where to go, let's just hug the left side. I think I'm too late again. Yep. That's really unfortunate. You're way too slow uh, horizontally. That's uh it's it's a good spike trap section. But because of our speed, it's not. So you literally you have to know where you where you're going. Not too good. These become meaningless when you hug them and keep firing. They can't even fire out anything. I would probably make them shoot uh, immediately, so you couldn't do that. That says, coming the challenge uh, made too easy. I could probably use the weapon somehow in the spike trap, but... Not sure how. And it should be doable with the buster as well. Or whatever uh, wrench this is. Try this again. Now. I should be able to make this now. Yep. Really, the speed was the problem. Interesting enemies here. Showing them to you and how they work. Probably putting us to test soon here. Another interesting enemy. I, sh I should be able to test the water mechanics on uh, a section with no pit first. Just to uh, know how it works, but there was no teaching them at that time. Not every, not everything always has to be safe, but some things you benefit from that. No cool blocks. Nope, just plain old uh, jumping. Another show. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, we've seen this fellow before. We know how it works. Now underwater. Let's see if we still got it. Killing the enemy at the same time. It's a fun way to. Combo the enemies on us. Oh shit. I don't like the uh, the fact that the background is the same blue as the platforms. It's a bit hard to see what you're landing on. That's the one up I want. So maybe using more colors here, making the background darker or using a different color would benefit the design. Going back to the same uh, Complained about the art style not being too good. But the core is fun. Um, I could probably... I could, yes, but I couldn't. <laughs> I know what to do now. You jump and use it. It's a good challenge for the E-Tank. And I think we made the right uh, weakness uh, choice. Seeing as there's a challenge. That evolves around the weapon we got. So the weakness is, uh, also makes uh, sense. Can't shoot through the shield. That's tested. Hmm. Would have wished for a secret to be in there. 
Shit. Uh oh. I would have probably moved that enemy so you couldn't kill it from there. It's a bit too easy. But that's just a nitpick. Let's try this again. Oh shit. Oh no, I have to kill that fellow from here. I didn't even notice that last time. That's well thought out. Oh fuck. I knew I pressed the button for too long. Yeah, definitely the one small thing that's killing the game a little bit is the walking speed. It's so slow. It's kind of killing the flow of the game. Shit. There we go. Should uh, save uh, some of the weapon energy for the boss, I guess. But I do want the E tank. The energy is also vanished quite quickly, even though we're so slow. Something to think about. There we go. Fellow keeps coming back, fuck. And now that came back. Gotta be careful about scrolling people back. Now. I need this. Okay, jumping dudes. There we go, and then... Fuck! Okay, that worked out. <laughs> the enemy should not spawn at that spot there, if I'm being honest. Oh, fuck. Big guy. Where am I supposed to go? I'm guessing this is a dead end. Yeah, even though it's open. Should probably prevent me from even trying that. Make me look like a dumbass right there. What is this? Seals! So you can just... Uh... Oh, they go through the wall. So you can farm here, essentially. I would be careful about spots like this where it's super easy to farm. I'm denying some of the challenge. Interesting section though, reminds me of the end of Bubble Mass stage with the crabs. Okay, not bad. Not good, but not bad. Let's see who this liquid fellow, liquid filled. A little bit, a little bit. Oh my god, he's so fast and we're so slow. Jesus. I like his attacks. Wow. That's oh god. This is very, very fun. And just see if you have the weakness. Huh. I think so. No, that's not the weakness. Interesting. So far the two bosses uh, have been alright. This is probably better than the uh, Elec one. You get to run around more. Oh. Yep, just stay close to him and uh, those bubbles will uh, ignore you. Another uh, one of those fights where uh, really being close is more safe. Unless this... <laughs> Bubble spawn right under you. Gotta be careful about those. Well, son of a shit. Guess we'll uh, get the weakness for that. And uh, take care of that later. If you agree on what I said, leave a like. If you disagree, leave a dislike. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching another Nico Evaluates. Join us in Discord to talk about Mega Man, White Bread, and the neighbor's dog. Impact the show in my Patreon, or just throw a few bucks if you wanna buy me coffee. Check our merch at teespring.com slash store slash snapster and get my quotes on your shirt. If you want to see weekly Mega Man races, go ahead and subscribe to Snapster. Catch you on the next one.